Here we have a Nintendo Switch that came in for no power. The lady said that she took it to another shop. They worked on it and they told her it's a no fix. You know how I feel about devices coming in that's been tampered with before. They have a lower chance of being fixed. So we already have the motherboard out, as you see here. And we're gonna take a look at the board to see what's going on and if this is something that we can work on. We're gonna start from the far end here. Battery, Joy-Con, the charging IC. USB-C has been changed before. And it looks like we have a bridge on the first two pins, the second two pins. Let's continue with the inspection. Just looking to see if we have any missing components, any damaged components. This chip looks original. Although we do see a lot of flux everywhere on the board. Oh, look at this, the LCD connector. It looks like it's been tampered with. The person that worked on it attempted to solder another LCD connector and we see that the latch is missing. The latch that closes and opens, it's missing. What else are we going to find? Right now, I think I'm gonna change the LCD connector. We have to change the LCD connector and I'm also gonna change the USB-C connector. That's the first thing that I'm going to do. And let's flip the board. The back looks good. I do not see anything wrong with the back. The only thing I see wrong with this board is the LCD connector and the USB-C port. Let's go ahead and change both. We have a couple of 1080s and 1090s video card that we really have to get to. I got them right here. I posted a message on our website that we are no longer accepting video cards because our queue right now is over 240 cards. We just cannot take any more cards until further notice. We have a note on our site. Once that note is removed, then you can mail in your card. But for now, we're not taking any video cards because it's crazy. It's crazy. I'm way behind on a lot of the video cards that we have. And a lot of people just cannot wait. I ended up waiving a lot of the expedited fees because it took us a lot longer than a few days to get to the card. I never seen so many video cards in my life. And I never knew so many different types of video cards existed. Every time you open a video card, it's a different layout from the inside. Get rid of the glare, just like that. And I just want to make sure that all the pins are covered with solder. And yes. solder liquefied and let's just press down I'm gonna press and hold and let go of hot air And we're gonna test to see if the pins are solid.
Pins are solid. Every single pin is making a very solid connection. Wow, amazing. And let's test the back. Solid. Not a single pin is loose. Amazing. We did an awesome job. Maybe the initial problem with this motherboard was the USB-C port. The repair shop replaced the port, but they damaged the LCD connector. They tried to replace the connector and they did not do a good job. That's probably what happened. Let me test around this chip. Meter in diode mode. Yeah, we are testing good. 0 0.5 voltage drop. 0 0.8 voltage drop. And 0 0.43 voltage drop. What about the charging I see here? 0 0.365. 0 0.51. 0 0.57 we're all good so i have a strong reason to believe that by fixing or replacing the usb-c connector we're gonna have a working console we know that solder that was used here is leaded so it's easier to work with otherwise i would have used low melt solder to desolder the connector. And yeah, we're gonna use our premium wick. And just look at how awesome this braid is. No wasting time. Get rid of the glare. And we're going to apply a little bit of flux, just a tiny bit, just a tiny river of flux. And we're going to use a new USB-C connector, just like that. And apply hot air. I'm at 440 degrees Celsius because people always ask. You have to know your hot air station. Right now, the one I'm using, I'm at 440 C at 120 airspeed. And my daughter just came in. She's trying to surprise me, but I see her on the camera. Let's press down. Okay, solid, 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 
salad. Let's solder the back. And we'll give it a big boss to reassemble and test. Let's just put a tiny river of flux. Just a tiny one. Oh, somebody hook in. Oh my God, what are you doing here? Where's my boost? Oh, and the little guy is here too. Ahla wa sahla. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Say hi to the camera. Hello, on ABC. A Honey. Yeah. inside the book inside the books of a, are a lot of insects so really like uh, oh oh what's that that's a ladybug 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 wow. see it and what else and what else oh this is a worm good job what is this spider i know those cool okay oh i love that butterfly so these are the caterpillars that turn into a butterfly seed. And clean up. That's it. The job is done. Very nice. All right, so I'm gonna give it to Big Boss to reassemble and test, and I'll be back in a few minutes. We reassembled the console. Big Boss already tested, and he confirmed that the console is working. So I'm telling you this before I test, because it's good news, and you always wanna give out the good news as soon as possible. Like when a doctor calls you. I hate when doctors call, and they have to do an introduction before they tell you the good news. Why can't you just tell the patient, the good news. And if we plug power, the charging station is showing 12 volts at 0 0.6 amps, 0 0.7 amps. And <laughs> it's on, it's on. So we were able to fix this for the customer. I am really happy for the customer or for the customer's kid. And before we end the video, two things I wanna talk about. Today, we got Amtec 559 Flux, a large batch. We have two more batches coming in, probably tomorrow or the day after, but the first batch of Amtec 559 is back in stock. We've been out of stock for almost a week. We placed an order with the factory, with the maker of Amtec Flux about 10 days ago, and the Flux was made specifically for us. The make date on the Flux is 7-12-2021. This is absolutely the freshest Flux in the market. We ordered a large batch of Amtec 559 Flux and also Amtec 213 Flux. We used to carry Amtec 213 in the past and we were not able to get our hands on 213 anymore. So now 
we are able to get our hands on 213 and we have a large batch coming in, possibly tomorrow or the day after. So we're going to be selling two types of flocks, Amtec 559 and Amtec 213. We have 438 people waiting for us to get Amtec 213. What's the difference between Amtec 559 and Amtec 213? Maybe I'll do a future video and I'll compare both of them. Both fluxes can be used for all applications, but Amtec 213 is a little bit thinner and it cleans better. I would use it if I'm working with microscopic components such as 1005 SMD components or 201 SMD components, especially when we have a lot of those components in one area. 213 is thinner, it flows better, and it's easier to clean. You do not want gooey flux on those components because it's going to be hard to clean between the components. So 213 is the answer because it's thinner and it cleans better. That's the difference between both, but I will do a future video comparing both 559 and 213. And what I want to do for subscribers of our channel is I created a coupon. If you order three syringes of flux, you will get the fourth one for free. And the coupon is set to expire after 100 orders. Use the coupon NF71221. So the flux was made on July 12, 2021, and that's where I came out with the code NF71221. If you use that code, you're not going to get any discount. You're not going to get any dollar value, but you will get a free syringe when you order three syringes or more. Right now, if you order three syringes, you're already getting 10% off. So in addition to the 10% off, you will also get one free syringe. You have to be a subscriber of the channel and use the coupon to qualify for that free syringe. The Amtec syringe does not come with a plunger and it does not come with any needles. So what we do is we transfer the Amtec flux to our own syringe. The syringe looks like this. It comes with the plunger and two needles, an orange one and a black one. The black one is a thinner one. So if you do not want to dispense a lot of flux, you use the black one. Otherwise, the orange one is perfect and that's what I use. If you were to buy the Amtec syringe plunger, it will cost you about two, three dollars and then you still have to buy the needles. We include everything for you as one product, the syringe, the plunger, and two needles. And that's why we transfer Amtec Flux to our own syringes. And the second thing I wanna say is, actually it's a wish. I wanna wish a happy birthday to Kern Small. His wife sent us an email. What a great wife she is. She sent us an email and she said, Hi, good day. My husband is an avid watcher of your videos. He absolutely loves you. He thinks you are the best and not only do you repair, but you also teach about business as well as how to handle difficult customers. He can't stop talking about you and how much he learns. He also orders parts from you. His birthday is next Friday, July 23rd, and it will make me extremely happy if you can wish him a happy birthday. His name is Kern Small. We are in Trinidad and Tobago. Thanks, Franca Guevara. Kern, happy birthday. I wish you a good one and take care of your wife. It's hard to find a wife that will go out of her way to make sure that we wish you a happy birthday. And maybe we can play something for you. I just wish Big Boss was here, he left. He would have danced for you and made moves like you've never seen before. But what can you do? Happy birthday, brother. I really hope you have a good one. And I'll make sure to include a nice gift for you on your next order. That's it, we're gonna end the video right here. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you have any questions and we'll do something else in the next video.